is the continuation of the previous problem. So in the previous problem, we mentioned that the time in minutes it takes a student to finish a lunch is between 10 and 55 minutes and the time follows uniform distribution. So we have the PDF 1 divided by 45. How do you get a 45? You take 55 minus 10 equals to 45. And then we have a graph. So in this a video I will talk about how to find percentile problem. The first problem is the 20th percentile. So for the percentile, do you still remember that we talk about a uh, percentile and quartile? So uh, back into a box plus, so we have a minimum and then uh, we have a maximum, right? So this is a minimum and then this is a maximum and then the first thing that we find is Q2, right? We don't need, even need the box plot, we can do the uh, talk about the five number summary. So our uh, median is Q2. So that divides the data into two pieces, first 50% and the second 50%. And the Q1 is the first quartile. So the Q1 is the median of the first half. So this is Q1. So you have the first 25% and the second 25%. The Q3 is the median of the second half. So uh, what is 25th percentile? 25th percentile is right here. So that is the first 25% of the probability. So we call that the 25th percentile. So this problem is asking for a 20th percentile. So J, they are asking for 20th percentile. How do you find that? So first, let's, uh, let's bring the graph back. So let's bring the graph back. 20th percentile uh, works similar to Q1. That means I am asking you to cut 20% on the left of the graph. So here is my 20% and then you have to tell me what the value of k is. So in the uh, in a regular probability problem, I give you the lower cutoff, the upper cutoff, and the height of the rectangle. You find the area of for me. So in a percentile problem, we do it backward. I give you the probability. You tell me where to cut the graph. So the first one, to finding k, how do you go from k to a 20%? So the way we do this is we take the maximum minus 10 and then times the height that equals to 20 percent which is 0.20 and then the first thing first you multiply both sides by 45 to get rid of the denominator so you have 0 0.20 times 45 so k minus 10 this is equals to 20 percent times 45 that is equals to 9 so k minus 10 is equals to 9 we know that k is equals to 9 plus 10 that equals to 19. So k is equals to 19. How do you explain that? That means the probability that a student can finish a lunch between 10 and 19 minutes is 20%. Okay. The next one, I use the word upper, upper 36%. How do you deal with upper? So k is upper 36%. How do you deal with that? So first, we recall the graph. And then we upper, upper means right hand side. So you cut 36% on the right hand side. Here is your 36%. So that will be a K. And then you have to tell me, uh, how do you draw an equation to find the 36%? So here is how we use the maximum minus the minimum, which is we don't know, and then times the height that equals to 0 0.36. Just like the previous one, you multiply both sides by uh, 45, so you have 55 minus k, that equals to 0 0.36 times 45. So 0 0.36 times 45, that equals to 16.2. You have 55 minus k equals to 16.2, and then k is equals to 55 minus 16.2. k is equals to 38.8. So this is in minute. So 38.8 is in minute. That means the probability that the student can finish a, a, a lunch between 38.8 and 55 minutes is 36%. So let's say uh, you, you are stuck with solving an, an equation. How do you solve x divided by 2 equals to 10? You multiply both sides by 2, right? So you know that x is equals to 20. How do you solve that 10 minus x equals to is equals to 6. You do x is equals to 10 minus 6. x is equals to 4. So when you are stuck in solving a simple equation like this, don't let the number uh, scare you. Just use some easier number. You can figure it out very easily. So let me add one more to, 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 to add one more part to this, shall we? We talk about the fifth 20% on the left. 
36% on the right. How about the mid in, in, in the middle? You don't see that problem a lot in the textbook, but I think it is good to talk about it. So let's talk about the middle. Uh, how much do you want the middle? So let's talk about middle, um, let's say middle 62%, shall we? Middle 62%. So first you, you recall the graph. So let's bring the graph back and then 62% in the middle. So that means right in the middle of the graph, we cut 62%. So that gives you two cuts, J and K, but J minus K times one over 45 equals to, um, this is not solvable because we cannot solve one equation that has two unknowns. That is impossible. So speaking of that, we need to know the percentage on the left side and the right side of the 62%. How do we get that? You take 100% minus 62, so you have some left over, right? And then you take that divided by two, so you take 100% minus 62, you get uh, 38, 38 divided by two is equals to 19, so I know there are 19 on the left and 19 on the right. So using the 19, I can do J minus 10 times the height equals to 19%, and 35 minus K times the height equals to 19%. And then you just solve for J. So J minus 10 is equals to 0 0.19 times 45. So 0 0.19 times 45, that equals to 8.55. J minus 10 is equals to that. So you add 10 on both sides. So that will be 18.55. And then this one is 35 minus K equals to 0 0.19 times 45. So 0 0.19 times 45, that equals to 8.55, 8.55. And then this is a 35 minus K. So K is equals to 35 minus 8.55. So 35 minus 8.55, that is equals to 26 point 45. So that is the lower limit and that is the upper limit. So this is how we explain it the probability that the student can finish a lunch between 18.55 minutes and 26.45 minutes is 62%. So how that's how you do the middle 62%. All right, so that will be the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, please like, subscribe, and share the video out for me. What, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your help. That will be the end of this video. I will see you all in the next one, signing out.